Hey guys, Aaron here. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to move this outlet here out to the front. All right, so as you can see, we're in the process of kind of building out this bench here. We weren't originally sure what we wanted to do with the outlet, um, but we finally decided we're just gonna take that outlet from there and move it out to here. Now, this is a storage bench, so you do have access to it. The top is removable. Um, so I don't need to run all new wiring to it. I can simply uh, cap this and run wiring around and then put a new one out here. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. And I'm gonna show you how, all the steps to do that. So stick with me and we'll get this done. Now, before I shut the power off and remove the old outlet, I'm going to go ahead and get the new one installed and get everything wired up so that all I got to do is shut the power off, remove that outlet, wire it up, and then we'll be done. All right, so the next thing we want to do is determine where the new box is going to go. Now, according to the new standards, um, the outlet should be at least 16 inches off the floor. Unfortunately, that's not really possible right now um, because this bench isn't that tall. So I'm actually going to have to drop it down to about 10 and I can stick it right below there uh, and it should be fine. Now, as you can see, I do have studs back here, um, but this is not really going to work because I don't have, unless I put another 2x4 here. The other challenge is it'd be really difficult for me to actually get a hammer over here uh, to put these in. So I'm just going to use an old workbox, um, which should be fine. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark uh, the sides of my box and the top. Now, you could do this, of course, with, if you wanted to measure this, you could do it as well. I'm just going to use my multi-tool to cut these out. All right, so now as you can see, I've got my cuts here, and that's gonna be my top and the side. So I can just take my box here, I'll line this up here. Of course, I'm gonna make sure it's level here. Got my mark right along the side here. Now I'm gonna make a mark here. I don't wanna go up here because it'll be too big. Mark on the side, and I'm gonna mark at the bottom, same thing. And then I can just take my level, finish drawing my lines. I'm gonna go a little bit lower now. Then we'll just take our multi-tool, go ahead and finish cutting our box out. Go ahead and dry fit our box, and we're good. Now I'm just going to go ahead and wire up, wire up the new outlet. Now we're just going to strip our Romex back. Now we need to strip at least six inches of this. So if you want to measure it, you can. So you need to be at least there. I recommend adding another inch. So let's go ahead and strip this back here. Now, if you have wire strippers that are designed for Romex, you can use that. Otherwise, what you can do is just take your knife and go down the middle like that. And that'll open this up and that won't cut these wires here. Because if we take our wire strippers and cut back here, we have a possible chance of stripping that wire in there. So that's not something we want to do. And then in the middle, we have our copper wire. So we're not worried about nicking that copper wire as much. Then we, what we want to do is we just want to strip our wires back here. Now on the back of these outlets here is a little guide to show you how far you need to strip it back. So you can either mark it there, your finger, then find the right size here. And there you go, like that. Now it's stripped back. Then what you can do is on the strippers here, you've got a little loop option. Stick that in there. And then you can turn that like that. That'll create your loop. Then we can go ahead and put our outlet on here. Now, when I put this on, I want to put this in a position where it's in a clockwise rotation. When I tighten this down, it's going to try to close the loop versus open it. Whereas if I put this on the other way and the loop is going the other direction, it's going to open the loop a little bit and you just won't get as tight a connection. So let's go to the other side. And the same thing here. Okay. 
Now you just have to push this through a little bit, flip it over. Now we can go ahead and feed this back in. I'm gonna make sure we have at least a quarter of an inch sticking of the Romex part sticking into the box. So we can push that back a little farther and tighten it down. Now, once this is tight where I want it, I also need to install some plastic wire staples here. And I know it's tough to see. A little staple going around the wire. Now that's just gonna make sure the wire doesn't move on me. Now, it's definitely not a long run here, but I am gonna put some more staples. All right, now we can go ahead and push our wire back in the box here. Now, when you do this, I like to go down and up, and that'll leave my wires in a good spot. There you go, now that's wired in there. All right, now we can go ahead and start removing our other outlet here. Uh, first, let's go ahead and shut off our power. Now, for links to any of the tools I use, go down to the description, go to my Amazon store, and then go into the electrical section, and you'll find everything I used in there. Now, we're going to go ahead and test it here with our outlet tester. And as you can see, it's off. Now, if you're not sure how to find the breaker for this, make sure you check out my video up here, um, and it'll go how to, over how to find breakers. Now, we can remove our outlet plate. Now another quick test just to make sure there's no power. Take your voltage detector. And there you go, no power. I'll remove it. Now, as you can see, this is pigtailed in. So what we can do is actually just pull it all the way out here. And I'm just gonna disconnect all these, remove the pigtails. Now the neutral is not pigtailed, so I'll just have to remove this. I can just cut this back. And as you see, I got plenty of wire here. Cut this here again, and this doesn't have to be six inches on this side. Again, we're just gonna make a cut down the middle. Now we just wanna tie into each one of these. So, strip this back. Now, before wiring any of this up, we need to put on our cable clamp here and our face plate. Now we can slide that out of the way. Go ahead and finish wiring this up. Now, before I actually put this on, again, I want to tighten this down, tighten up my clamp down here, make sure it's lined up where I want it to be. And then I'm going to remove the screws here just because it makes it a little easier for me to see. And I also, I also want longer screws, so use the screws from the old outlet. Then we're going to tighten our clamp down. And you kind of want to go back and forth on this so that it tightens up evenly. Test it out, and we have power. So there you go. That's really all there is to it. Put our faceplate on. And there you go. Now we moved the outlet from back there to here. 